I speak at universities, law schools across America, and I have a question I have a lot of fun asking. I will look at these young kids who have been born in the last 18, 19, 20 years, and I will ask them, how many of you have been told that Thomas Jefferson fathered children through his slave Sally Hemings? Every university, 95% of the hands go up. Now, that's interesting because that story only broke in 1998, November of 1998. Most of you weren't even born at that point in time, and you're being told by your professors a story. I said, now, what if that story's not true? And it came out, they, they announced DNA testing proved that, but what if you learned that they didn't even use Jefferson's DNA when they tested? Would that change your opinion of Jefferson? And what if you learned that when the story came out, 200 news outlets carried it nationally, but then six weeks later they retracted the story and said, oops, sorry, DNA evidence. Have you heard anything about the retraction? If you had heard that there was a retraction of the DNA evidence, would it change your opinion of how you thought about Thomas Jefferson? And you just start going through what actually happened. It is interesting to see how people change their perception of Jefferson based on something that was wrongly told them from two decades ago, that when you look at the facts, there's no evidence that what was said two decades ago is true, and that's why the evidence was pulled two decades ago.